Oh, <laughs> hey creeps, it's uh, Cameron. Welcome to Library Macabre. I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, sometimes the, the walls in the library, they, uh, they tend to move around on their own. And sometimes I'll be reading and I'll come to and I won't know where I'm at. Usually it just takes a few minutes to find my way out, but uh, I think I've been stuck in here for a few hours, maybe? Days? Weeks? It's been a while and I'm a little bit hungry. But anyway, uh, while I'm <laughs> killing time trying to find my way out of this person place, I thought maybe we would do a bookshelf tour. So we are on the first shelf of my horror collection. As you can see, the first few books over here are non-fiction books. Most of these have to do with film. Uh, take down my diploma here, and this is where my horror section starts. So the first book we have is The Last Rakosh by F. Paul Wilson. Another F. Paul Wilson book, Sibs. The Sitter by R.L. Stein. Red Rain by R.L. Stein. Next, I have a few books by Ramsey Campbell. We have Obsession, Midnight Sun, The Count of Eleven, Drawing Blood by Poppy Z. Bright, Love in Vain, edited by Poppy Z. Bright, Love in Vain 2, and The Loop by Jeremy Robert Johnson. Moving on to the second bookshelf. We have the Penguin Book of Vampire Stories, edited by Alan Ryan. Odd Man Out by James Newman. I just recently read and reviewed this. It was fantastic. The Halloween Store and Other Tales of All Hallows' Eve by Ronald Kelly. I also just recently read and reviewed this one. Bottom Feeders by Jerry Roth. Dead Star Park by Mark Hill. Monte Carlo by Theodore Taylor. Really weird cover on that one. Next we have a couple of books by Tim Wagner. They Kill and The Mouth of the Dark. The Toy Thief by D.W. Glitzby. Death Bite by Michael Merrick and Brent Monahan. Goliath Falls by Frank DeFelita. Moving on to the other stack, we have Halloween Season. Stories by Lucy A. Snyder. The Gates by John Connolly, as well as The Unquiet by John Connolly. I believe this is more of a crime novel. We also have a Dark Harvest hardcover edition of Dreamthorpe by Chet Williamson. Cat Magic by Jonathan Barry and Whitley Stryber, first edition. Hardcover edition of Lot Lizards by Ray Garten. And a hardcover edition of Trade Secrets by Ray Garden. This next shelf is on the floor and I can't really position my tripod to show you these. So I'm just going to do this handheld. I apologize if it's a bit shaky. On display we have The Gatherer by Owen Brooks. How to Save a World from Dying by Carl S. Plummer. Mad About Undead You by Carl S. Plummer. An Ark of the Night Will Find Us by Matthew Lyons. I need to get a physical copy of that one. Foe by Ian Reed. And I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reed. One of my very favorite books. And then over here on this side we have my Funko Pop of Predator as well as a few copies of my book Autumn Crow, which is on sale on Amazon right now. So on this shelf we have a couple of Flame Tree Press books. Those Who Came Before by J. H. Moncrief. The Devil's Equinox by John Everson. The House by the Cemetery by John Everson. 
and Stoker's Wild. And then next we have all of my Dean Coots books. So we've got Midnight, The Bad Place, Cold Fire, Hideaway, Dragon Tears, Mr. Murder, Uh, Dark Rivers of the Heart, Brother Odd, and Odd Hours. Those are a couple of books from his uh, Odd Thomas series, which I've never read. Your, ha Your Heart Belongs to Me, What the Night Knows, Fear Nothing, and from the corner of his eye. Moving on to the top shelf of the second horror bookcase. I'm gonna start with this first row and then I will uh, show you the books in the back. We have Grind Your Bones to Dust by Nicholas Day. We have a few Grindhouse books. A Life on Fire by Chris Bowsman. Creep House by Anderson Prunty. Death Packs and Left Hand Paths. It's a hard title to say. Triple Axe by Scott Cole. Kinfolk by Matt Kurtz. Where Stars Won't Shine by Patrick Lacey. Still need to get a finished copy of this one. Halloween Fiend by C.V. Hunt. Neon Dies at Dawn by Anderson Prunty. The Long Shadows of October. Beautiful cover on that. Ocean Grave Under the Blade. It's a really good slasher novel. Locker Arms by Zachary Magaha. A couple more copies of my book, Autumn Crow. Local Haunts, edited by R. St. Clair. A Horror Tube Anthology. Blood in the Woods by J.P. Willey. Carnivorous Lunar Activities by Mac Booth III. Black Heart Boys Choir by Curtis M. Lawson. Those Who Go Forth into the Empty Place of Gods by Curtis M. Lawson and Doug Rinaldi. Cold Moon Over Babylon by Michael McDowell. The Toymaker by Sergio Gomez. Camp Slaughter by Sergio Gomez. I have a review of this coming very soon. The Dreadful Objects by Chris Cooper. The Nightmare Room by Chris Sorensen. As well as its sequel, The Hungry Ones. And I just recently got the third and final book in the trilogy, so I'll be reading that soon. Video Night by Adam Caesar. Tribesmen by Adam Caesar. The Reapers Are the Angels by Alden Bell. Haunted Nights, edited by Ellen Datlow and Lisa Morton. Hark the Herald Angels Scream, edited by Christopher Golden. And lastly, Sea Trail by Frank DeFelita. Now we're moving on to the back half of this shelf. This isn't very pretty looking, but uh, these serve as nice platforms uh, to raise up the second half of each shelf, the second row, so that way I can see what's behind the books that sit in front. We have a couple of books by Michael Patrick Hicks. The first one is Broken Shells, Mass Hysteria, Bay's End by Edward Lorne, The Damned Place by Chris Miller, Angel Board by Christopher Rufty. The Armageddon Chord by Jeremy Wagner. Rabbit Heart by Jeremy Wagner. The October Boys by Adam Millard. Waiting Out Winter by Kelly Owen. Pumpkin House by Chad P. Brown. Husk by Rachel Autumn Deering. The Rue by Alan Baxter. The Class Reunion. This is a slasher book that I would still like to read very soon. The Forgotten Island by David Sodergren. Night Shoot by David Sodergren. Bonesaw by Patrick Lacey. Sleep Paralysis by Patrick Lacey. Figures Unseen by Steve Resnick Tim. The Auctioneer by Joan Sampson. Reading the Palms of Dolls by Drew Forrest. This day just keeps getting better and better all the time. Ugh, and because that collapsed 
when I got to the end of the shelf. I'm gonna have to put these here for now. We have The Crimson Calling by Patrick C. Green, 12 Nights at Rotter House by J.W. Oker, Beneath Ash and Bone by D. Alexander Ward, Mother Effing Sharks by Brian Allen Carr, The Last Final Girl by Stephen Graham Jones, Echoes of Darkness by Rob Smalls, Gignol and Other Sardonic Tales by Warren Gray, A Sick Gray Laugh by Nicole Cushing, Stone Fish by Scott R. Jones, That Which Grows Wild by Eric J. Gignard, I think is how you pronounce his last name, Sleep in the Dust of the Earth by Anthony Haynes, very spooky cover on that one, This Will Haunt You by Brian Kirk, Shadow Vista by Charles Colloit and Mark Steensland, Dawn and Damnation by Clark Casey, and Red Harvest by Patrick C. Green. Thank you all so much for joining me for part one of the Horror Bookshelf Tour. Check back very soon for part two. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to try to find my way out of here. Help! <laughs>